First, we need to open Visual Studio Code. If you guys need help learning how to install VS Code, I'll link to a video up top and down below. Here, we wanna open the folder where we wanna create this React application simply by selecting the folder. Here, we wanna open a new terminal and everything we do in today's video will be in the command prompt so we can close out of the PowerShell. And to create our React app, we're going to use npm create vite at latest and go ahead and hit enter. And this is going to take a second to go ahead and run. And from here, we want to select our project name and we're going to enter in a period. And that's going to name our project, whatever the name of our directory is here. Click enter, package name is fine. And then go ahead and select React and JavaScript. At this point, we want to install all of our dependencies. So we'll say npm install, and this will take a second to install our dependencies. Once this is done, we're going to say npm run dev to open our live server and make sure that we set this up correctly. Here, we'll click on this local host URL. That'll go ahead and open our browser. And then what you guys are gonna see here is a bunch of generic Vite and React code. If you guys are seeing this, you successfully set up your React app using Vite. But we don't want any of this stuff, so we're gonna navigate back to VS Code, and we're going to navigate into the SRC file. And here in our app.jsx, we're going to remove the Vite logo, React logo, and the use state here. Down here, we'll delete this state. And inside of our return statement, we wanna remove everything except for our fragment here. So we'll go ahead and select all of this, get rid of it. Next, we wanna to navigate to our app.css, delete everything here, go to our index.css and delete everything here. If we go back to our live server, you guys are gonna see that everything is gone. Tap here to see what happens next.